Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today we are here with another lecture of public international law. So uh, last time we uh, we have studied till Article 4 of the uh, United Nations Charter, and today we will start from the Article Number 4. So membership in the United Nations is open to all other peace-loving states. The uh, this is the like first uh, point of this article. Uh, like the membership of the United Nations is open to all the states who are peace loving and who wanted to promote peace in the world. The admission of any such state to membership in the United Nations will be affected by a decision of the General Assembly upon the recommendations of the Security Council. Like if any of the state wanted to be the member organization of the United Nations, then uh, the the state will give request uh, to the general assembly of the united nations and then the security council of the united nation will decide uh, if uh, if they have to provide membership to that particular state or they don't have to so next is article 5 a member of the united nations against which prevention or enforcement action has been taken by the Security Council may be suspended from the exercise of the rights and privileges of membership by the General Assembly upon the recommendation of the Security Council. The exercise of these rights and privileges may be restored by the Security Council. So if a member of the United Nations uh, go against the rules and regulations of the United Nations, then uh, Security Council can suspend uh, the membership of that country and ultimately they can suspend the rights or the privileges which, which that country was enjoying as the membership country and, uh, and the General Assembly upon the recommendation of the Security Council can exercise its right and if uh, later the, uh, the state uh, would perform uh, like start performing in a right way or uh, they, they apologize for their behavior or they give a solid reason about their actions against the United Nations so their rights can be restored uh, on the advice of the Security Council. Then a member of the United Nations which has persistently violated the principles contained in the present charter may be expelled from the organization by General Assembly upon the recommendation of the Security Council. Like if, if a state uh, has violated some principles which were identified by the, uh, by the United Nations Charter so, uh, the state or the country can be expelled from the services uh, which were provided to that state by the Security Council or by the United Nations basically. So, secure, upon the recommendation of the Security Council, all of those services will be exempted uh, because of the uh, violated act by that state. Then Article 7, they are established uh, uh, as principal organs of the United Nations. A General Assembly, a Security Council, an Economic and Social Council, a Trusteeship Council, an International Court of Justice and a Secretariat. So uh, uh, there are different organs of the United Nations. That is General Assembly, Security Councils, Economic and Social Council, a trusteeship council and international court of justice and a secretariat. So all of these are basically uh, the different departments of a uh, week or we can say different councils or different uh, different we can say uh, the different services which which are provided by the United Nations. Then such subsidiary organization organs as may be found necessary may be established in accordance with the present charter. Like ultimately if in future uh, the United Nations consider that they need to be found an other department uh, for some specific purpose. So yes, the, the, that department can be formulated 
according to the rules and regulations then article 8 the united nations shall place no restriction on the eligibility of the men and women to participate in any capacity under conditions of equality in its principles and subsidiary organs so the united nations uh, has no restriction on the eligibility of the men and women who ever wanted to participate in the in the uh, united nations uh, like organization and uh, all of them uh, have equal rights according to the principles of the united nations uh, in in to perform in any of the organization organ of the united nation so basically uh, there is an equality or there is uh, or to participate in the united nations there is no gender dis- discrimination and everyone can participate in the uh, gen- in the uh, subsidiary organs of the uh, state then general assembly composition uh, this is article 9 the general assembly shall consist of all the members of the united nations like uh, all the permanent members of the united nations or we can say uh, the other members of the united nations uh, will be the part of the general assembly as we can see that pakistan is also a part member of the united nations so whenever there is uh, uh, an annual uh, we can say uh, there is there is an annual there is an annual assembly uh, or an annual gathering by the general, general assembly uh, pakistan always participate in that uh, in that gathering and uh, uh, it it basically share its stance about the world peace or about the situation of or about the uh, contributions by the state of pakistan and all then each member shall have not more than 5 representative in the general assembly that uh, like uh, if it is pakistan uh, they can't uh, like increase the numbers of the representatives more than 5 in the general assembly then functions and the powers like what are the functions and the powers of the general assembly uh, article 10 of the general assembly may discuss any questions or any matters within the scope of the present charter or relating to the powers and functions of any organs are provided for uh, in the present charter and except as provided in article 12 it may make recommendations to the members of the united nations or to the security councils or to both on any such questions or the matter like general assembly uh, may discuss any question or any matter Uh, that is in the scope of the charter of the united nations assembly or it may relate with the powers and functions uh, of any organ uh, of the general assembly and uh, it it will be except in article 12 it may make recommendations to the members of the united nations and to the security councils or to the both or any such question or the matter we will discuss in detail the article 12 further uh, in next lecture uh, but uh, article 10 in article 10 uh, if if there is any matter or there is any question ultimately and if it is in in the uh, legal jurisdiction of the united nations then yes united nation can basically uh, take action uh, for that particular matter and can uh, ask question about that particular matter and can Uh, help to resolve that particular matter then article 11 the general assembly may consider the general principles of cooperation in the maintenance of international peace and security like uh, there must be there is a principle of cooperation like e- each of the state will perform its task or, uh, to ensure the international peace and security as we can see that uh, all the member state of the general uh, sorry Uh, united nations uh, have their uh, like uh, have their forces uh, placed in the states where there is a situation of war and their responsibility is uh, to maintain peace in that uh, particular in those particular places they are basically the ambassador of peace uh, 
by by a particular country and who are placed uh, on the direction of the united nations in different states iski sabse aasan example main is tarah se aapko deti hu ki aapne dekha hoga ki bahut sari hamari jo armed forces ke members hain yani ki fauji jo hain unko aise ilakon mein bheja jata hai jahan pe jang ki surat hal hoti hai तो उनको बेसिकली यूनाइटेड नेशंस की डायरेक्शंस पे भेजा जाता है और वहाँ उनका काम बेसिकली पीस प्रमोट करना होता है और साथ साथ सर्विसेज प्रोवाइड करना होता है वहाँ के लोगों को उसके बाद है जी जनरल असेंबली में डिस्कस एनी क्वेश्चन रिलेटिंग टू द मेंटेनेंस ऑफ द इंटरनेशनल पीस एंड सिक्योरिटी ब्रॉड पे फॉर एट बाई एनी मेम्बर ऑफ द यूनाइटेड नेशंस कि अगर uh, uh, जो है जनरल असम्बली जो है कोई भी क्वेश्चन जो कि पीस से रिलेटेड होगा जो सिक्योरिटी से रिलेटेड होगा उसको डिस्कस कर सकती है अगर वो किसी भी मेंबर की तरफ से लाया गया हो जैसा कि 1948 इंडिया जो ने जो है वो कश्मीर का इशू यूनाइटेड नेशन में रेस किया था and uh, general assembly of the united nation basically took action uh, for that particular matter and that this they decided uh, that there must be uh, a that there must be a prolocide or we can say a referendum uh, in the kashmir and the now the people of kashmir will decide either they wanted to go with pakistan or they wanted to go with india then general assembly may call attention of the security council in situation which are likely to endanger international peace and security like when we have seen the situation uh, that uh, uh, there there is the war, situation of war between pakistan and america then general assembly of the united nations may interrupt that uh, you you must communicate uh, you must sit on a table and you must con- communicate with each other about the conflicts and uh, uh, you must ensure the peace and security of the world then the power of the general assembly set forth in this article shall not limit the general scope of the article 10 like uh, the general assembly uh, has the power ultimately Uh, to discuss the matter related to peace peace and international security uh, but but uh, it must not limit uh, the general scope of article 10 like uh, this is basically uh, in article 10 uh, the, it is the responsibility of the general assembly that they can generally uh, indulge in a matter where where wherever there is peace Uh, uh like wherever there is a threat to the peace but in article 11 uh, the general assembly will re- be responsible to resolve the matter of its member states only so this is it for today thank you so much uh, please study in detail about these articles and uh, in next le- lecture you have to give me an assignment where you will uh, provide an example for each of the article uh, where the particular article was implemented thank you so much if you have any query you can definitely ask thank you